So get this straight. Now and forever. Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstraw. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. John chapter 16 and verse 7. This is Jesus speaking. You've heard of him, right? Yes. It is expedient for you that I go away. It's profitable for you if Jesus goes away. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not. Say will not. Will not, will not come unto you, but if I depart, I will send him unto you so we know that if the comforter uh, comes to us we know that Jesus has departed yeah. Yeah. can you see that mm -hmm. verse 12 I have yet many things to say unto you but you cannot bear them now when is the now that they couldn't bear them pre Holy Ghost coming mm -hmm. verse 13 how be it when he say he he the spirit of truth so he's a person right he the spirit of truth is come he will guide you into all the truth you all right with this yep. because Jesus had to leave and then when he left he said he would send the comforter mm -hmm. who would be another person right mm -hmm. yep. John chapter 14 and verse 16 I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter. That he, say he, he, so he's a person, that he may abide with you forever. Jesus wasn't going to, he specifically said, I'm not going to abide with you forever, I have to go away. But the Holy Ghost, the one that Jesus is going to send to be with us, he will abide with us here and forever say here, here. And, forever. and forever and everything in between because he's coming and he's not gonna leave he's gonna stay with you throughout all of this age and into the next age and what comes after that the next age and then the next age mm -hmm. and then <laughs> what's the, after that one the next age you understand what forever means right yes. so get this straight now and forever Holy Ghost this mm -hmm. continues can you see this yes it doesn't stop it changes it transforms we go from glory to glory but this that you're in now walking with the Holy Ghost as God continues forever what you have with him say what I have with him, what I have with him. and what I do with him continues mm -hmm. it doesn't stop are you getting this yes that's why we can go from glory to glory to glory to glory to glory mm -hmm. because we're still with him we're still being transformed we're still we're still being changed by knowing him yeah. say by knowing him. by knowing him what if we don't receive him and know him then none of that applies mm -mm. so this continues I hope I can get this across this that you have with the Holy Ghost walking with him knowing him worshiping him walking with him knowing him worshiping him and being changed by walking with him knowing him worshiping him 
to be continued. Forever. Everybody thinks, oh, well, we'll have we the Holy Ghost. He's just a comforter and he's a power. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then we die. <laughs> and then we go to heaven and it's a whole, it's a whole different. Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. you, you have no idea what's going on. This, get it, this transfers. It goes over. It increases and transfers into the future into forever say this, this transfers, transfers into, into forever. forever so is it a big deal that you know him learn how to walk with him know who he is yes. <laughs> if you want to be ahead of the game or even in the game itself I'll show you some of that John chapter 7 and verse 37 in the last day that great day of the feast jesus stood and cried saying if any man thirst let him come unto me and drink 38 he that believes on me say he, he. that believes, that believes. On, me, on me as the scripture hath said out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water but this spake he of the spirit who's the spirit holy ghost. the holy ghost which they that believe on him should receive they believe on him and they should say should should, should receive for the holy ghost was not yet given because that Jesus was not yet glorified we read those other verses so the whole is he wasn't speaking of that day in which he was in he was speaking of a, a future time mm -hmm. after the Holy Ghost would come mm -hmm. they that believe on Jesus should receive the Holy Ghost does everyone who believes on Jesus receive the Holy Ghost they do not in fact Paul in Acts chapter 19 verse 2 the first thing when he met some some believers there he said have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed you have to receive the Holy Ghost you believe on Jesus mm -hmm. and you receive the Holy Ghost and this receiving of the Holy Ghost is what continues remember because Jesus said he the Holy Ghost would be with you forever that's what continues mm -hmm. first Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 13 for by one spirit say one spirit, one spirit. are we all baptized into one body whether we be Jews or Gentiles whether we whether we be bond or free and have been all made to drink into one spirit mm -hmm. say one spirit. one spirit that is the Holy Ghost only you were made to drink into one spirit Holy Ghost only it says all are made to drink but you won't drink how far are you gonna get so I guess the question is have you believed on Jesus in sooth old English word for in truth or in reality say in reality, in reality. have you believed on Jesus literally believing all that he did for you but all that he did we know that he came into the earth lived a sinless life was crucified for your sins and rose from the dead on the third day these are things you believe mm -hmm. say these are things, these are things. I, believe. I believe that's good you have to believe on Jesus what he did mm -hmm. Acts chapter 1 verse 9 and when he had spoken these things this is after he was raised from the dead 
and when he had spoken these things while they beheld he Jesus was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight and while they looked while they looked steadfastly towards heaven as he went up behold two men stood by them in white apparel verse 11 which also said you men of Galilee why stand you gazing up into heaven this same Jesus which is taken up from you into heaven shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven has that happened no that has not happened yet therefore Jesus this same Jesus is still there in heaven at the right hand of the Father sat down finished everything he was gonna do mm -hmm. except for send the Holy Ghost which is which we see him doing in Acts chapter 2 have you believed fully on Jesus that this is what he did he was raised from the dead but then he was raised from the earth and sat down and sent the Holy Ghost like we just read have you believed on Jesus in sooth or in truth or reality do you believe that do you believe Jesus did all of that then where is he and what did he do he rose from the dead then rose from the earth sat down at the right hand of the Father and sent the Holy Ghost where are you today that's where you are today they that believe on Jesus should receive the Holy Ghost because Jesus was glorified and he sent are you here yeah. this makes sense mm -hmm. John chapter 7 verse 39 says that you should receive the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. so if you have believed on him Jesus then you should receive the Holy Ghost the one that he sent have you received the Holy Ghost in sooth in the fullness of who he is see a lot of people would receive Jesus but not in the fullness of who he is mm -hmm. that he is has finished all he did and he sat down at the right hand of the Father mm -hmm. sent the Holy Ghost they leave that empire they end part off have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed and when I mean receive the Holy Ghost receive him for all he is we believed on Jesus for all he is now we believe and receive the Holy Ghost for all he say he he, he is well who is he well that's kind of our, our deal now we're supposed to receive the Holy Ghost after we have believed on Jesus now receiving the Holy Ghost in order to receive the Holy Ghost we have to know who he is mm -hmm. especially if we're going to receive him in the fullness of who he is and his dispensation mm -hmm. which you are in 2nd Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 17 now say now, now the Lord is that spirit for us the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty mm -hmm. freedom verse 18 but we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the spirit of the Lord and I just noticed in my notes uh, earlier today as I was reading this it says it says even as by the Lord the Spirit the Spirit Lord he's the Spirit Lord who's the Spirit Lord Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost not Jesus Jesus did not send Jesus Jesus said he'd send another if I go somewhere and I say I'm gonna send you another I'm not gonna show up uh -uh. you're gonna find another one at your door yeah. the another is the Holy Ghost he is the Spirit Lord that's who he's talking about now the Lord is that spirit the Holy Ghost 
you've only just begun in this process of transition glory to glory by knowing the spirit lord you've only begun in this process of transformation glory to glory by knowing him forever say knowing him, knowing him. Forever. forever now from here on out in this message i will be using the term spirit lord or lord of spirits now i will explain that in a minute one or the other if i say spirit lord you could be thinking lord of spirits he is the lord of spirits he's the spirit lord if i'm a spirit lord that means i'm lord of spirits mm -hmm. does this make sense yeah. and i'm gonna make a statement that a lot of people won't like but i'm gonna say it anyway the holy ghost says i am the lord of all spirits spirits of men the spirits of angels and yes even the demonic spirits that means he has dominion over them none can stay his hand he's the Lord of spirits in fact we just read that verse that says and where the Spirit of the Lord is or where the Spirit is Lord there is Liberty freedom freedom would be freedom from demonic issues mm -hmm. are you here yeah. where the Spirit is Lord there's freedom from demonic there could not be freedom from demonic things if he didn't have Lordship over them right. yeah. when he the Lord of Spirits shows up they depart always matthew chapter 12 verse 28 but if i cast out devils by the spirit of god or literally if you look it up the spirit god or the lord of spirits right yeah. if i cast out devils by the spirit god then the kingdom of god is come unto you how did Jesus cast out devils by the Spirit God by the Lord of Spirits the Spirit of the Lord the Spirit Lord Jesus didn't cast out devils by Beelzebub mm -hmm. but see that's what they were thinking they thought oh you have you must have a stronger devil no the Spirit Lord is Lord over all devils as well as all angels as well as all people let's look at the ultimate importance that Jesus attributed to this spirit Lord verse 31 wherefore I say unto you all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men but the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto them can you see the importance that Jesus was putting upon the person of the Holy Ghost yes. verse 32 and whosoever speaks a word against the Son of Man it shall be forgiven him but whosoever speaks against the Holy Ghost it shall not be forgiven him neither in this world and neither in the world to come it transfers mm. say it transfers. it transfers same Holy Ghost can you see this mm -hmm. there will be no one who speaks against the Holy Ghost in the world to come can you imagine that mm -hmm. in the world to come will there be anyone who speaks against the Holy Ghost no, there can't be. it's not gonna be there it no one mm -hmm. and here we see again the Holy Ghost walking with him mm -hmm. and speaking words walking with the Holy Ghost speaking is this a big deal yes, it is. is it a big deal now yes. as big of a deal as it is now is how far you're gonna be able to go mm -hmm. into the future with him it transfers I hope I'm getting this across you understand because mm -hmm. he's with us 
forever and the same thing applies we'll be speaking in agreement with him forever yes. you better get used to it Jesus did not cast out demons by the prince of the devils he cast out demons by this Lord of Spirits yeah. and the Lord of Spirits is a person mm -hmm. named the Holy Ghost yeah. meaning the Holy Ghost has authority over all demons he is the Lord of Spirits he is the Lord of angels you, you understand that he's the Lord of all angels he is the Lord of all people mm -hmm. he's above them all let's see Acts chapter 5 and let's look at verse 1 but a certain man named Ananias with Sapphira his wife and kept back part of the price his wife also being privy of it and brought a certain part and laid it at the Apostles feet verse 3 but Peter said Ananias why hath Satan filled thine heart to lie to the Holy Ghost and to keep back part of the price of the land whiles it remained was it not thine own and after it was sold was it not in thine own power why hast thou conceived this thing in thine heart thou hast not lied unto men but unto God who does this say that that Ananias and Sapphira lied to he said why did Satan fill your heart to lie to the Holy Ghost thou hast not lied unto men but unto God so they lied to God the Holy Ghost are you here this isn't that difficult verse 5 and Ananias hearing these words fell down and gave up the ghost why did he give up the ghost he lied to the Lord of spirits he is the Lord of the spirits of men get this straight he is Lord over all devils he's Lord over all angels he's Lord over all the spirits of men and they lied to him and he had to give up the ghost are you here mm -hmm. in fact let's read on verse 7 and it was about the, the space of three hours after when his wife mm -hmm. not knowing what was done came in you suppose everybody was watching her oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> verse 8 and Peter answered unto her tell me whether you sold the land for so much and she said yeah for so much verse 9 then Peter said unto her how is it that you have agreed together to tempt the Spirit of the Lord again those words the Spirit Lord how is it that you have agreed together to tempt the Spirit Lord or to test the Spirit Lord behold the feet of them which have buried thy husband or at the door and shall carry thee out she fell down straight away his feet and yielded up the ghost literally the spirit lord mm -hmm. i'm trying to strike a note as to who we are dealing with he's god he's in the earth and we walk with him and we're going to keep walking with him forever it transfers over yes. say it transfers, it transfers over. over I hope I am getting the idea over to you that this transfers over the way you walk with God the Holy Ghost today say today, today. transfers over to how we will be walking with him forever say forever, forever. so the Holy Ghost is the Lord of spirits he's the Lord of your spirit Hebrews chapter 12 verse 22 you are come to the city of this living God the heavenly Jerusalem to an innumerable company of angels mm -hmm. verse 23 to the general assembly and church of the firstborn which are written in heaven where are they in heaven mm -hmm. 
transfers over right and to God the judge of all and to the spirits of just men made perfect mm -hmm. he is the Lord of spirits verse 25 see that you refuse not him that speaks verse 26 whose voice then shook the earth but now say now now, now he has promised saying yet once more I shake not the earth only but also heaven if you're walking with the Holy Ghost now and shaking the earth like we're supposed to mm -hmm. we will then shake heaven it's a promise it continues that's my point well if you're going to participate in this who must you know and walk with the Holy Ghost the Lord of Spirits mm -hmm. the Lord of your spirit the Lord of all spirits the earth will be shaken and then he promised the heavens will be shaken and he says we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved let us have grace whereby we may serve God acceptably that word serve here in the King James is translated in almost every other translation as worship we worship God acceptably what God are we worshiping has to be the Holy Ghost the Spirit God the Lord of Spirits he's the one that you walk with now and forever if you want to fulfill all the things over here on earth and make the transit then you must learn says the Spirit to worship me the Lord of Spirits welcome to the new if you do worship the Lord of Spirits your God and him only serve he will give it all to you all of the now and all of the forever everything Holy Ghost I worship you I thank you we've been made anew worshiping you and we commit and know we can go from glory to glory even as by you the Lord of Spirits we thank you for rearranging our thinking that we may walk with you in the new way in this new day and we say you are God in the earth and we worship you in Jesus name amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I, worship I worship you you are the Lord of Spirits you are the Lord of all money of all finances I claim right now in Jesus name all the money I need and I command the angels to go out and bring it in I thank you Holy Ghost Lord of Spirits for it in Jesus name Amen Jesus name